Hey my amazing people, so today we are going to talk about social dancing. Nine main mistakes, let me rectify it like this, nine main men mistakes that is done in social dancing and how we can avoid it and who are mostly the leaders. So let's talk about the nine main mistakes that we can avoid in social dancing and let's get into it. Okay, so the first mistake that we make is over peas. Mm, yeah, I know it sounds a little bit funny. Let me explain. So this is called three peas. Push, pull and press. Yeah, so this is how we give intuitions in the lead and the follow. But over push, over pull or over press is what we all need to avoid, especially the leaders, the men who are mostly the leaders, right? So try to avoid always the extra push, extra pull or extra press because that becomes very uncomfortable for the follower to follow, okay? So avoid the three P's in over, but actually you have to master it for good lead and follow in future. Okay, so let's go to the second one. The second one is out of rhythm. Now, it doesn't matter how cool steps you're gonna do. If you cannot understand the changes of the timing, okay? I'll not only say that, you know, the rhythm, but the changes of the timing to understand that thing. Otherwise, what happens, you'll be only able to hit when the music starts because you get a lot of time to understand that, uh, okay, one, two, three, you know, okay? But your aim is to also understand those changes. Otherwise, uh, if you're out of rhythm, especially, even it doesn't matter that if you are not able to change on the timing, that will not matter as much, as much is gonna matter that you are not on timing. So please uh, pay focus that you stay on the timing. It's gonna be a, a big uh, like a discomfort if you will keep on going out of timing. Okay, and that's another second mistake that we should be avoiding. Now, let's go to the third one. Third one is jumping into dips and tricks without proper foundation. Okay, now when I'm talking about this one, now we all understand that when we are starting to dance and learning the social dancing, uh, yeah, of course, we want to do all those cool steps, you know, and we want to make our partner feel good. But what happens when we start jumping to the steps, you know, everything has a progression to go for. Now, if we don't have that progression, when we jump to the uh, dips or the tricks directly, uh, what happens, we're not able to execute it properly. We as leaders, as men, we might be thinking, yeah, we are doing very good. They are feeling, yeah, cool and all. And they are like, oh my God, please don't do this. <laughs> you getting the point? And at the end, our aim is mm, not to be cool on the, uh, like uh, by paying the price of safety, yeah, or comfort. That means your partner, you cannot, we cannot try to be more cooler if they don't feel uh, secured and safe with us. That's our first one. And that's why it's very important before we jump, to those dips and tricks here yeah? first we make our foundation very good so that's the third mistake we should avoid now the fourth one is called over solo or over shines mm -hmm. now when you have learned really good what we try to do sometimes when we have so much of cool steps we are so much um, you know like uh, excited and enthusiastic to show that which is a good thing that we start to sometimes overdo it and we are dancing with a partner and we get the solo time yeah and we are so much that our partner is now waiting and waiting and getting the point and so uh, you have to really understand there is specific times when you do a solo or the shines but not too long because here you're not doing a solo you're doing a duet and partnering so you have to keep on coming back to your partner with least time possible and give her time back for that okay so always take care of this fourth point uh, to avoid over shines and over solos okay now coming for the fifth one now this is uh, which is good dancers will have it and but in the beginning we already do a mistakes while we are learning and that uh, shows up in the socials which is postures now guys if you uh, our postures are not gonna be good if we are gonna be clumsy or uh, this our partners are not gonna be feeling comfortable getting it so it's very good now the posture is like uh, now when we are doing social dancing now depending on now if you're uh, if you're performing it's gonna be very uh, linings and postures and the legs going and you know but when you're doing socials it's not about those linings and postures but at least uh, how you're holding your body you're straight or you're adjusting with your partner a little bit uh, how you're holding your own balance your own frames how you're leading uh, your partner this all will come 
as much as your postures are good if your postures are bad that is going to be a discomfort uh, with your partner because she's going to be dancing with you connecting with your hands with your body and uh, so if you're right not in the right posture she will have to adapt to it which will not be comfortable for her okay so avoid this one uh, in that uh, you should not be dancing in bad postures okay now let's after this fifth one let's make uh, move to the sixth one now this is giving incomplete leads yeah now that becomes a big problem now what happens now uh, when we are learning the steps we sometimes um, if it's if you're not learning it properly if it's not taught properly we end up learning only the steps without the lead and follow inside it what is the theory be uh, between it you know what is the mechanics between it and what happens that shows up again in the socials now what happens uh, we start men we start doing the steps we're turning we're moving to another one and we are not completing our whole lead which is like already bad like not completing a whole movement but here even it's not a movement because movement is you your so if i'm not completing my movements in dancing it's not going to look good everything is look, uh, going to look incomplete but here is more important because now i'm giving a lead it's not about my own body it's about my partner over there that means it's going to be important that uh, i have to complete the lead to her otherwise she will be feeling incomplete and she will have to manage by her own and in many places the lead itself is the balance that we give to our partner that she can do all those steps okay so now talking about um, this point now let's we'll be moving which is little bit similar to this point to the next one yeah so which is about too close or too far okay yeah it's like too close or too far yeah now what happens now if you're too close and your partner is like don't have spacing because we are like you know so close mm -mm -mm. okay in the same way too far every time we are going <coughs> we are feeling <coughs> she is away you see and this all uh, disturbs the smoothness that we are uh, trying to do all the steps in so no step is cool if it's actually uh, not doesn't have the smoothness and the mechanics into it if it's really bad and hard and strong then then that's exactly not for the social itself okay it can be for the performances but the socials are meant to be that we can do it socially right like normal people yeah not uh, we don't have to be professionals to able to do that thing so that's why it's also easier to learn okay can you listen that i don't know okay so <laughs> i'll continue i hope that my voice is still uh, more audible than that okay so uh, now we will move to the eighth point okay so we're now getting closer to the ninth point okay which is the last point so now the eighth point is that can you guess that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay before i say you the eighth one let me recap you from the beginning okay so the first one is that avoid over push over pull over press yeah that means in short remember this bonus line which is as don't force the step lead the step i repeat that don't force the step lead the step if you are over forcing somewhere it's already going wrong whether you are a receiver or a giver over there okay even there are techniques that we teach in the advance uh, where actually we're moving very sharp or strong but there is a technique inside which is not like we are feeling that uh, uh, all over the place yeah there is control and all but that comes in the much more higher level in which we make it look like uh, like it's more strong but inside we are not feeling that much of strength and that comes in the technique but in the beginning it has to be everything is more smooth yeah and all the accents and styling comes over it so you have to give that uh, uh, place to her and that's why okay first one now moving to the first to the second remember staying on the rhythm whatever is the rhythm whatever is the basic you stay on the timing to the least going out of the rhythm is the worst uh, as your partner will be feeling from you okay uh, first one second one yeah okay now let's go after that uh, we talked about the third point which was about jumping into dips and tricks without strong foundation okay so remember uh, we might be trying to make our partners make feel good but if your foundation are not strong they are going to feel more inse insecure and uncomfortable uh, and if they feel so then we are failing as a good leader okay uh, from there to the next one it's about over solos or 
over shines over doing solos or over doing shines yeah to avoid that thing so that our partner doesn't feel left over yeah because we are still having a duet we will have our timing to understand how much to do and then to keep on coming back okay from there we move to the next one which was about postures to really have good postures because your good postures uh, is gonna not only help her uh, to actually have good spacing and feel good about her own body but your bad posture can really make her feel uncomfortable okay uh, also guys uh, one more thing about the postures. Postures is going to be the main fundamental element which is going to make your styling look good. If your postures are not good, most probably your styling are not going to look good. It's going to look something, something is missing and it's why you don't look or feel like that. Yeah, so focus on the postures. Okay, moving to that, we talked about not completing the lead slash movement yeah so complete your lead so that uh, your signals your leads your giving her the support uh, is really or um, the, your follower the support is really complete so she feels the whole lead is completed to her okay so avoid uh, incomplete leads okay moving to the next one too close too far remember so not to be too close that she doesn't have spacing at all that she is not able to breathe she's feeling uncomfortable yeah she's feeling like ah like no spacing uh, at the same time not too much uh, far also that your every movements now needs push and pull where we go back to the first rule that we talked about remember push pull or press and automatically if you're too much away or too much close those things will come into play your rule number uh, one which we try to avoid okay now when we are here now we are moving to the next one which is a little bit similar to it but a little bit different so when we're talking about too close or too far we're talking about spacing in between uh, our dancers right in between the partners in between the two per pe person who is uh, dancing but now the next point is called spatial awareness now the lack of spatial awareness is the eighth mistake that we most do as a leader so because we are the leader so uh, it's like um, it's our responsibility that where we are leading our partners to and in the social mostly we are not only dancing alone right we're dancing according to uh, the event the spacing uh, the people right so example uh, the best thing uh, what we should be doing example what i try to do is that example according to the space which is uh, available according to the crowd or the event i try to either expand or contract yeah so that i know that uh, uh, i am not getting into the way of somebody else or clashing it now uh, also by understanding other people some people might be dancing smaller some people might be dancing you know way more wider so according to that thing i can also like adjust so that because if i will not be aware of it most probably i will lead my partner to the wrong space and uh, and as a leader that time i'm responsible for the directions that i'm giving uh, to my follower okay so as a man we have to really uh, avoid being hmm, being the lack of spatial awareness yeah you have to just be aware of wh where you are and where are the people around you okay because you're responsible not only for yourself but also for your partner now after all this one we are coming to the ninth point which is not is like uh, as we say like uh, last but not the least it's about hygiene and etiquettes okay that's very important now guys believe me um, like uh, girls will not or girls or followers you know uh, in this case mostly our followers are girls so uh, you know they're sensitive right yeah yeah they're sensitive mostly sophisticated and this and they actually more can sense than us usually now <laughs> what i mean to say over here is that uh, if you are not taking care of your you know how you're smelling uh, not putting a little bit of the uh, you know something to keep yourself clean and hygienic it's gonna communicate badly to your partner and she's gonna feel discomfort to it again then we are failing over there right because over there is not only about us we have to be careful about uh, other people over there with whom we are dancing with whom uh, we are meeting over there so for that uh, this is a big thing that uh, and it will be very hard for any partner or any person uh, in the parties or in the events to actually tell you directly that uh, this is the problem but they will start avoiding you yeah trying to go uh, uh, you know away from you and you will not know it so it's a big tip always take care of your hygiene keep yourself clean carry a few clothes i will make a uh, separate video about this you can go and check out about what to wear uh, you know uh, about the uh, like uh, how even you should be approaching example that comes from the second part which i said about etiquettes so also not only uh, even if you're a good dancer with a bad etiquette uh, it's worse than a bad dancer with a good etiquette yeah so it's very important because uh, at the end we are going to a social place it's a social event so your hygiene and etiquette is gonna uh, play 
you know play a big part uh, anyways most of these points that i mentioned over here uh, i'll be making separate videos about it in detail because some of those parts have even sub parts like this one uh, how actually you can be approach you know how you can approach your leaders uh, or sorry followers how you can approach the followers in the uh, parties how uh, what to wear how to feel more comfortable and uh, so on okay and many uh, also informations are coming up even for the dear ladies yeah uh, like the next video is about uh, nine mistakes that ladies should be avoiding in the social parties okay so remember all these nine points that we said from the beginning and at the end always uh, remember that it's about the quality more than the quantity so it's not about how many steps you're gonna learn it's a bonus step yeah uh, at the end it's gonna be more important how you're gonna execute that how you're gonna make your partner feel about it uh, so they are gonna value that one more than hundreds of more steps you might be thinking you'll be bringing yeah okay so that's all from me today i think uh, i am here where i am supposed to be yeah uh, oh no it can be a sponsor for the next video <laughs> okay guys so that's all for today uh, thank you and see you in the next video write me something more and i will leave you guys over here so thank you bye have a good time eat ciao bye <laughs>